Africa is building a $6 billion megacity in the sea. Here is one question for you. Think carefully. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when someone mentions Africa? Well, you certainly don't think of some wow megacities, right? Well, it should be, because Africa is building a megacity worth $6 billion. Yes, that's right. You heard right. Eco Atlantic is the entirely new coastal city being built on Victoria Island, adjacent to Lagos, Nigeria. This is to solve the chronic shortage of real estate in the world's fastest growing megacity. There's land for expansion in other parts of Lagos, which would have cost much less to develop. So why reclaim the sea? It's because Eco Atlantic is designed for the mega rich in society who waste Dubai style living with high rise buildings overlooking beautiful oceans and seashores. The city is 10 square kilometers development project that adjoins the phase one area of Lekki and Victoria Island district of Lago City to the north, while the entire western, eastern, and southern borders are coastline. Eco Atlantic City is expected to rise as the next generation of property on the African continent, having a total of 10 districts spread across 10 million square miles of land reclaimed from the Atlantic Ocean and protected by an 8.5 kilometer long seawall known as the Great Wall of Lagos that would serve as a barricade against the rioting ocean. A total of 300,000 families would live in the metropolis, which would also employ 250,000. If you want the video to continue and hear more about this city, subscribe and turn on notifications. Hope you will enjoy the video today. It's time to continue. Here we go. The multi-billion dollar new city project is being undertaken by South Energy Nigeria Limited, a subsidiary of the Shagori Group, in collaboration with the Lagos State Government. According to the Lagos State Government, there is an ongoing construction of various infrastructures such as stormwater drainage, installation at 79%, sewage pipe installation at 40%, water supply pipe installation at 21%, and telecoms duct installation at 27%. According to Information Inline, the new $6 billion Eco-Atlantic City will be the size of Manhattan's skyscraper district, self-sufficient and sustainable. It includes power, telecommunications, clean water, spacious roads, and 110,000 trees. After land reclamation, the city is built on water. Do you have any idea how much sand is dumped into the sea? 140 million metric tons of sand. Dredging International, a Belgian corporation, has moved 95 million cubic meters of sand from the Atlantic's bottom to achieve this feat. Pretty amazing, right? This city is already a haven for investment, and it will soon become a beacon for international business and tourism, a global landmark and a symbol of Nigeria's pride and prosperity. Eco-Atlantic is fast becoming a reality as clients have already begun constructing their high-rise developments within the city. Are you also thinking of becoming a resident of the Eco-Atlantic city? Think no more, as you stand to enjoy so many perks as a resident of the city. Here are some benefits independent 24-7 power supply, water and wastewater treatment, fiber optic communication connections to every plot of land. The city delivers plots of land with connection to utility services, elevated street levels to also accommodate, a 10.2 kilometer long waterfront promenade. Two large marinas are connected by an internal waterway. Sounds tempting, doesn't it? Well, all you have to do is spend all your savings because according to some data, Real estate prices start at $2,000 per square meter. And until you move there, do you wonder how the construction is going and what has been built so far in this city? Well, by November 2020, some most notable structures like Eco Pearl Towers had been completed with several more under development and in planning stages. The area has become an active venue for popular Afro concerts and sports events like the Copa Lagos and Lagos City Marathon. Eco Atlantic City has also received an EDGE certification from the International Finance Corporation, IFC, a member of the World Bank Group. Also, in December 2021, Azuri Office Tower was fully completed and operations were set to start by 12, 2021. Slowly, the construction is coming to an end and the city is getting its compete for an appearance from the blueprints and plans. However, like every project, this one was also criticized. 
The Eco-Atlantic project has been criticized by residents living nearby, saying that ongoing construction works have caused coastal erosion and ocean surges, as ocean water surges through living areas, flooding access roads and taking down electricity poles, and forcing residents to relocate. The Lagos state government is also being criticized for failing to involve the people in the project. But despite all the criticism, the project continues and the city gets its final look. So what do you think about this mega project? Do you like it? Why? Share with us your opinion and write a comment in the section below. We would like to know your opinion, so feel free to write it. At the very end of the video, don't forget to press the bell to be notified when the new video is ready for watching. Also, subscribe to our channel for more content like this one and share the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it. We will make more videos for you and meet you soon again. Until then, have a nice day. See you.